And so do me and Rattily. We're back together. And I'm going to ask her to marry me. <laughs> oh, Rattily, please accept this ring of 100% pure cheese and make me the happiest rat in the world. Oh, Rattus, of course. Hang on, where's the ring? Hmm? Oh, I ate that. I was hoping you'd be happy with the box. <laughs> oh, well, looks like I'm single again. I guess it's not all bad. <laughs> this famous 18th century Italian certainly seemed to enjoy himself. Take it away, Casanova! Over. Tell you the story of Casanova. I'm the hobo who poured that dice young actor mom had in you. Me, a musician, spy diplomat, dandy physician, gambler, soldier, broker, self taught, Catholic priest, astronaut. Okay, that last was a lie. None of this what I am remembered by. I can't work out. Just look at those eyes. Such well dressed eyes. Of all the guys, I drive them wild. Help cure a Having a fit in noble circles, I became a hit. Allowed me to adopt this lifestyle to wit, to wit, to wit. He's well lush and he know it. He's tasty and he show it. Claim to write for Mozart, but mostly care about breaking girls' hearts. Sport, jewels, gave up prayers. My mind too busy on other affairs. Invented the lottery. France a big fan, but falling in love still my big plan. Till one lady said, "You don't be old man, old man, old man." I was past it and I knew it. No love life and I blew it. Lost confidence in love and fighting. Dedicate my life to writing. Wave goodbye to Casanova. My life as a great lover. Over. He wrote this book story of my life. Every love affair and cheating wife. One hundred thirty all said and done. You wriggled your way out of every one. Wriggle, 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 wriggle. Was well lush and I knew it, but that life I outgrew it. A new life thought I try it. Now librarian, so quiet. Shh. It's drippy, it's soppy, and you need a copy. Order it now. Some are lucky in love. They meet the woman of their dream and they spend the rest of their life with them. Others just chop their heads off. King Henry is back looking for the next, next special one in his life. The specially special, special one. Hi, 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 hi. How's it going, Henry? Jane Seymour. Yeah. Look, I'm uh, sorry if I don't seem in a great mood. Uh, just getting over a pretty tough breakup. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You must be heartbroken. Yeah, well, to be fair, it's hard on her. I mean, she is in bits. Look, do you want to get married? I need a male heir. Pretty sharpish. Yeah? Great. Check. Henry, you look really happy. Well, I am. Really happy. Um, she's the best one yet. She's a winner, a keeper, not a divorcee, not a, you know, choppy. She's a, a keeper and she's brilliant at real tennis. Fantastic drop shot. <laughs> Good times, I hope. Yes. She died. Yeah, pretty upset about that, actually. King Henry is back. Blah, 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 yada, yada, special one in his life, blah, blah, you know. Hey, how's it going? I'm... Oh, Henry VIII. Oh, the wrong restaurant. Taxi! Henry, tell us what happened. Uh, so we kind of had to get married in the end. Uh, politics. But uh, we got divorced straight after, and I've given her a bunch of properties so she can live off the rent, and uh, it's all uh, pretty much cool, basically. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'm straight back in for the next one. Which could be the one, or the uh, third, or fourth. Which one is it? Some families even went to war. Here's one. They were two halves of the same family who both founded their own dynasty. The Yorkists, whose symbol is a white rose, and the Lancastrians, 
whose symbol is a red rose. They clashed during, yes, you guessed it, the Wars of the Roses. Things got so bad, the Lancastrian king, Henry VI, tried something rather unusual to make everyone friends again. He called it Love Day. And welcome to this lovely occasion, Love Day, 1458. Yes, led by Queen Margaret, members of the English royal family process into St Paul's Cathedral. Oh, a little stubble there, nerves obviously playing their part. The Yorkists in their white ribbons and the Lancastrians in their red. Oh, a little shove there from Queen Margaret on the Earl of Warwick. Yes, yeah, a bit of regal horseplay, but I'm sure all in the spirit of peace and harmony. And we now just await Queen Margaret's husband, King Henry VI. Oh, yes, and there he is. OK, great stuff, guys, great stuff. That's lovely. Let's all just simmer down. So the aim today is to get you lankies big up and you Yorkies respect together in one room, just feeling the love, one big happy family. So all you have to do, just lean over to the person next to you and just hold hands. Yeah. Great. The king's gone mad again. Yeah. I think you're getting the Duke of York to take over anyway. <laughs> you and whose army? <laughs> well, me and my army. Me and my army. Mine! No, 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 and the rival side's getting along exactly swimmingly. Yes, how wonderful it is to see these noble families back together after three years of bloody fighting. Whoa, guys, guys, hey, let's remember what today's called. Love day. It's not fight day, is it? It's not grab someone in a headlock and beat them with a... What's that? It's a spoon. Spoon day. Today is all about love. So, whatever's happened in the past, we just need to forget about that and hold hands. It's hard to hold hands with the man who's killed your dad. <laughs> and mine. OK, but the important thing is that they've said they are really sorry. No, actually, they haven't. Well, we're not. How about I make you sorry? Over my dead body. Oh, you said it, pal. Well, guys! <laughs> um, high spirits indeed on this wonderful day. Guys! Can we all, for one day, just hold hands? Well, let's not have a repeat of Christmas. Uh, right? Uh, right, now you two gents, come on. There you go. How hard was that? Come on, we haven't got all day. And you ladies. <laughs> and there we have it as they make their way out of the cathedral. It's amazing to see the spirit of friendship and togetherness. Well, that actually went better than I thought it would. The Yorkists and the Lancastrians fought for over 30 years until finally the war was won by a branch of the Lancaster side called the Tudors. But things were almost as complicated for them. And it all started when the Tudor king, Henry VIII, had a daughter called Mary. Hey, Catholic crew, Mary here. Hashtag Daddy's Little Princess. No, totally, because Daddy is Henry VIII and I'm the only surviving child, so going to be queen one day. Hello. Ah, oh. oh, you're so embarrassing. Sorry, darling. Ooh. <laughs> OK, so Henry VIII, dad, is saying that his marriage to my mum, Catherine of Aragon, doesn't count because she used to be married to his dead brother and he's only just realised that, like, 18 years later. So now he's talking to the Pope about having it cancelled or something. He just wants a boy to be king after he dies. Hashtag hurry up and actually die. Lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er vales and hills When all at once I saw a crowd, yeah Well it's worth no one rage your nature hot take Go riff on a cliff or go jump in a lake You may be inspired by your environment But I write about me the scandalous Byron My name is Keith, so I got all the right beats Like Wordsworth, I love the nightingale tweets I'm not as posh as them and that's a big concern But I wrote an ode to a Grecian urn Beauty is truth, and truth is beauty. You're just a cockney oik, no need to be snooty. Nature is a crazy mama, the key to life and all its drama. Romantics love to get the feels. We imagine big, we don't keep it real. Yeah, yeah. You're an awful writer. Your epic tales are lame, they're all about your ego. You're just jealous of my fame. You don't have to struggle, there's no fire in your belly I leave that stuff to Percy Bysshe Shelley Let's change the world, a poetry sings Of dangerous power of queens and kings Men 
must assert their rights to grow. But don't forget the ladies. Hello. Romantics love to get the feels. We imagine big, we don't keep it real. I tried to ignore they were gigantic. Now how about we hear from a new romantic? My story will blow you away. I'm Mary Shelley and here's what I say. On a holiday in Lake Geneva, we got a bad story telling people. Talk late at night of tales that affect Frightening fables of ghosts and spectres One terrifying story of mine Inspired me to write Frankenstein That scary monster is your claim to fame Yeah, and people still think Frankenstein was the monster's name Romantics love to get the feels We imagine big, we don't keep it real I was like a rock star, a hero We had fame to a king got zero Twenty-five, I died off TV I was twenty-nine when I drowned at sea but that was it for me And I was dead by 53 Unlike them, I was late in Grady Lived to the ripe old age of 80 Life is short and cruel and frantic Nature lives on That's, That's so, so romantic, romantic. on Historical Love Island. It's time for personal trainer Matt to couple up with one of our three remaining historical hotties. Will he crack on with Chiara, the Austrian peasant? Will his roaming eye pick up the Roman rag trader Cassia or couple up with gorgeous George and Jane Austen? This is really tricky for me, like, right? because obviously you're all well fit, but I think I'm going to go with number... <laughs> He's gone for stunning storyteller Jane Austen. So I was looking her up, yeah, and it says she likes Reading, which is where I grew up. It's pronounced Reading. Nah, it's not, mate. I grew up there, so. I thought the men in this villa would be like those in my novels. Brooding and sensitive, like Mr Darcy in Pride and Prejudice, which is available in all good bookshops. <laughs> So can modern man Max navigate the many rules of Georgian courtship and woo our writer? Jane. Oh, you used my Christian name before we are engaged. Oh, sorry, babes. Oh, don't just stand there. We must walk as we talk. Oh, what, are you trying to reach your 10,000 steps or something? You must know that it is impossibly vulgar for a young lady to stand around talking to a well, gentleman. What would people think? We're having a chat. All he has to do is bring a card to my family home during his morning calls, which, of course, only happen in the afternoon. He must never acknowledge me if I have an older sister of marriageable age until she herself has found a husband. He must yeah, I'm pretty sure you'd have lost Matt at card. Oi, oi, gorgeous. Fancy a dance? <laughs> well, I suppose a dance could be appropriate. Whoa, without gloves. Unthinkable. Cheeky. All right, then. Let's dance the night away. <laughs> the night? Any true gentleman knows that a lady would never honour him with more than two dances in an evening. Unless... Unless what? Unless you mean us to be married. Ooh. No thanks, you're right. It all makes sense now. The bare naked hands, the use of my Christian name. It's actually all moving a bit fast for me, Jane. I know. I shall need some time to consider my response before you meet with my father and draw up the marriage contract. Yeah, you take your time with that, babe. In fact, whilst you're thinking about it, I might just go check out what Kiara's up to. Later, yeah? <sighs> what a shame. He was flames. Humankind's favourite furry friends started out as a wild and dangerous beast. Sure, they chased bones, but they were the bones people were still using. Over time, these wild animals became the pet dogs that we all love. We Romans had pet dogs. We liked all sorts of pets. But the favourite pet of the poshest Romans might just shock you. At last, an album celebrating wealthy Romans' number one pet, eels. Serenade your eels at feeding time with these timeless classics. Maybe I just want to dance with my slippy little Roman eel. My, 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 Roman eel. Show your treasured pets your true eelings with hits like this. But I need to tell you something. I eely, 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 eely like you. 
Do you like me? Do you like me? Do you like me too? Ow! With special guest Lucius Crassus. Who loves his eels so much, he dresses them up in jewellery. Don't be afraid to catch eels. Give your pet that special eeling with eel love. Available now. Listen up, you all better bow down. Cos I'm the queen and I'm wearing the crown. Totally messing with the patriarchy. My rule will go down in history. I don't care about primogeniture. Look it up. I'm in charge and I'm turning it around for sure. You got the power. I got, I got, I got the power. This is my time and this is my hour. I'm a true woman and I'm on top. Get in my way, baby. Your father I was the first Tudor Queen, and I wanted it to be a Protestant scene. You know me as Lady Jane Grey, and I only ruled for a paltry nine days. I succeeded you, people knew I was legit. I wanted the throne in Hail Mary, I got it. For the next five years there was a Catholic at the wheel. But it's hard to keep the country on an even keel. When people rebelled, well I took a stand. Started burning Protestants all across the land. I got the power! I got, I got, I got the power. This is our time and this is our hour. I'm a true woman, make no mistake. Get in my way and you'll burn at the stake. I'm Catholic Mary was involved in many plots to be Mary Queen of England as well as Queen of Scots. For 45 years I hung on to my crown by finding ways of you not being around. Locked you up. That was the first. Meant I went for execution. Hold up, I was just a kid, but I got power too. Cause I'm Henry VIII's son, and that was my due. But ruling when you're young, it ain't a lot of fun. Not as easy as it looks, yeah, being number one. So I'm telling you, my stepsisters, they deserve respect. Mary brought the navy back and reduced the debt. This defeated the Armada. Now, do you get it? When she left the throne, England wasn't credit. We got, we got, we, we got, got the power. short time. Horrible history.